a WASAP can be run from the GUI, but you can also start scans from the command line, which is handy if you want to run scans automatically, start them from scripts, from cron jobs, or other useful command line interfaces. To start with, you need to know the directory that Zap is installed in. By default, it's going to be in opt Zap proxy on Linux. If you're not sure, we can search for it. We can type locate. And we're looking for zap.shell. And we can see it's in the opt zap proxy directory. And it's also in our path and user local bin. So when we type zap.shell, we can get help by typing dash and help. And it'll give us a list of the command line arguments that are available. And you'll notice that some of these allow us to run a scan quickly. We have quick URL, quick out, and quick progress. And if we want to run Zap without using the GUI, then we can start it as a daemon. As a test page, we're just going to scan this one page here, which won't take too much time. So we run it as a daemon to keep the user interface from starting. And then we're going to do quick URL. And we'll use the URL that we chose as our demo. For the output file, I'm going to type quick out, and then I'm going to place the results in the temp directory. And then to see the progress bar, I'm also going to do quick progress. And we can start the scan. This app will start running, and first thing it's going to do is start the spider so it can make a list of pages to scan. In this particular example, this won't take long since we're only scanning one page, but normally this would spider the site that you specified, and if it had several pages, this could take a while. So the spider is just about done, and then it'll go on and it'll start doing the various types of scans. Depending on which scan is running, you might see your browser window open, pop up in the background like this, and that's normal. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a message from the daemon that it's listening on a local port. And you can stop the program by hitting Control-C and view the results uh, in the XML file. One tool that can read the results would be Firefox. You can also use any text editor. And we'll just type in the path of the results file that we picked. That'll pull up the list of results, and we can see the various vulnerabilities found by the scan.